What up, folks? Shadow Gage here. Um, today, I am going to be discussing a problem in contact. Um, and this is a this is a problem that um a lot of people have been having apparently. Um, and like googling it did it will do you no good. It it will frustrate you. Um, it will probably have you doing things that. I, I mean, whatever. Uh, I'm going to show some of the searches I came up with. But first, I'm going to get into the problem here. So if you come up here, and this is the first time you've used this. I better grab my headphones so I can hear what the hell is going on. Um, so if this is the first time you've used this, you're, you're going to have issues. And um, once you fix the problem once, th th I don't think the problem is going to happen again. But if this is the first time you've loaded up, you know, a new instrument and tried to load samples, you know, I basically my idea, I was, I was trying to make a 128 so that, which if you're not at the dojo, it's, it's basically a, uh, basically just having all a bunch of drum samples on one sampler that you can pick with by just adjusting your knob It is essentially the, uh, the details. So essentially the whole gist of it so you can basically just very quickly go through a bunch of different drum samples to find the right one and i mean it's i mean whatever i i basically it's it i've been doing it for years anyway um but you know it is it was a good thing so you know first thing you do is you come over here and you know you, you pick your samples and you go ahead and you load them into the sample or load them into the map whatever yada yada um I really do that. Let's see. Let's see what happens when I click on the deselect them. Okay, good. Yeah, you want to make sure they're deselected, otherwise, otherwise you're gonna have issues. Um and after you do that and you try to play it, it it just sounds horrible, you know. And so I, I ran across this, and you know, first I'm like yeah, you know, I'm looking, I'm like, okay, try it, you know, okay, try it. I'm trying to turn that off. Try it, maybe try the sampler. Um, okay, now let's try. Still, still, still sounds bad. Still does not sound good. Um, and I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of sick right now. So, you know, I'm trying, I was, just, this annoyed me so much. I, I had to, I had to do something because, man, this has been a problem with contact. And I mean, a lot of like, you know, if I pull this up, you know, here, I'll, I'll show what happens, you know, when I pulled up the Explorer here. So, you know, if I'm looking for problems, I'm like, okay, crackling sound, you know, first thing, the first thing I did was try the videos and oh my God. Yeah. Like I'll play a chunk of them, but it's like you're crackling in logic and contact you with crackling with Cubase, you know, it's happening in the player, you know, it's happening in studio one, you know, I mean, everything and every, you know, maybe it's, it's just, you know, this is this. I, I've had this problem before. I think the first time I tried using this when I bought, when I bought complete was like, like 2004, 2005, some shit like that. And, you know, I, I, I couldn't get an answer then. But anyway, so, you know, first thing I did, you know, I'm like clicking on these and it's like, whatever. So there's this guy and, uh, like load up. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there, um, but I can get it to generate at least some sort of distortion every time, just as a little demo. So when samples load up, uh, sometimes it's really bad sounding too. It sounds like this. Just okay. a little quick at the beginning, but sometimes I'll get it where, like earlier today, I had it where this thing sounded like it was going through some sort of a wave shape. It was ridiculous. Wave shape. It's actually a pretty easy solution. I've had hmm. similar issues. I have issues with this bass all the time. I've had issues like this with um, action <laughs> strikes. That, that doesn't surprise me. I don't know what the deal is, but to fix <laughs> it, you go into the cog, you go to processing, and just click use fix buffer size. It's going to say don't activate this unless you really need to. Uh, uh, I keep mine on because if I don't, I'm going to run across something where I load it and it'll just click. Okay. First off, you know, I. I, I guess that may fix the problem in Fruity Loops, but um, I'm not using Fruity Loops. I haven't used Fruity Loops in 20 years. So, you know, that's obviously not going to help me. Um, you know, so in another video I went to, so this guy, and, you know, he's even worse. Load. All right, now this usually will be in red. You'll hear some crackling, right? This is not where we're going to be focusing on. So I don't want to confuse people, all right? What we're going to be focusing on is your actual VST, okay? Your VST may have problems loading samples, or if you have, like, reverb built into the VST or any effects, it may sometimes... Um, what this will sound like now mine isn't actually doing that right now. It's completely random now. 
So you can see how annoying that may be, especially when you're trying to get an idea down. It's just gonna mess up your workflow because you have to restart everything and reload all your stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that right now. And it should be a permanent fix because it will save to your actual VST. Really? So what you wanna do is click this knob up here, detailed settings. <laughs> click your VST detailed settings, settings all right, knob. And then it has settings yeah, and processing. Yeah, okay. Number one, I'm not using a DX wrapper, so that's not going to help me. Um, You know, fucking Fruity Loops use this. <laughs> so anyway, you know, it's like, <laughs> You know, okay, so then I go to the, the NI forums. I think, you know, this was the first post I got. And I'm like, okay, so, you know, right on. I mean, it's just James Hatfield, want to be looking up. Dude just looks like a dick. I'm just saying, you know, and it's like this guy's having problems in, with his audio. And, you know, first guy's like, he suggests it's the velocities. And I'm like, um, I, I just, you know, I guess I understand how that can happen just because the, the you know, the math involved, if, if you don't add a one and then divide by two, like that, the, it's, it's very specific when you're dealing with the floats. You basically, if you're if you're trying to have a float deal with a um, basically deal with a waveform, dealing with an amplitude, you you've always got to add one and then divide. And um, yeah, you know, so I'm sure that's what he basically was kind of getting at, and not so many words you know is a problem is the, with the velocity the problem is not with the velocity trust me you know and he goes down and, and he get and then there's this guy fucking evil dragon and he's like uh you know uh, uh. the the fact that he's just like you know telling this guy to open up the midi monitor multi-script like that's i'm just saying i've met enough people that um i don't use that will not use this software because this shit is apparently too confusing. And um, it, it's like, you know, that it's just, I, I, I'm sorry, but it's a dickhead thing to even suggest that. And because that's obviously not the problem. I don't, you know, I mean, he, he's just showing you what, because I guarantee that he knows that what he's telling him is true and that he knows that that is a problem, but I'm sure he knows what the actual problem is too. And <clears throat> that's what just kills me on this. And, you know, it gets down and this guy's like, you know, uh, try try changing the velocity multi-script. I'm like, okay. You know, I, I mean, I, 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 I would not recommend fucking with the multi-scripts unless you are trained in Lua or you have like 160 plus IQ. Then go, go fucking ham. But, you know, I really don't recommend it. Um. So, you know, the way that I, oh, I found it. Nice. Thanks. I have no more questions. Yeah. Dude figured it out. He's like, yeah, fuck these guys. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're fucking dicks. They're, you know, and, you know, so it's like, <laughs> it's a, the fix is fucking stupid. Um, and then there's this guy who comes in and, you know, he's having, he, uh, you know, whatever, you know, he's having issues and, you know, he, he includes a sound with it and, you know, and it's like, uh, you know, like, he, he tried different buffer sizes. I'm like, yeah, you know, that's really not going to fix your issue if you understand what you're doing when you change the buffer size. <laughs> um, which I've only known recently because I've, I've studied DSP coding and, you know, learned how to actually code my own VSTs. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so this guy's like, you know, what's down card? Do you da, da, da. Maybe it's the complete driver. Try updating your file. Why don't you try Osseo for all? I mean, that more likely if you're if you're having issues, Osseo for all is just gonna make them worse. Um, just you know, just saying. Um, you know, it's, yeah. And he's like, his name would make it even worse. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> but uh, I I just think I just think it's funny. And it's like, oh, you know, and, and it's like, I'm sorry, but fact matter it is like oh try this he's like maybe i should should have informed maybe i should have informed me before buying a loot yeah maybe i should have informed myself before buying a new laptop right i was like um so <laughs> yeah i've seen people talk about the bsod a couple times here um you know and like this guy by the end he's like oh well should i buy it should i just buy a mac or da, 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 or desktop like, okay well you really should buy a desktop and not a laptop if you're doing audio just just saying like it's literally night day difference but um <laughs> you know obviously they don't know what the fucking problem is and i'm sure you know i go through all these i'm i'm sure you know i'm sure if i clicked on any of these 
Let, let's just, I, I, I haven't even clicked on this one. Let's see. What, what do they suggest? I'm curious here. Uh, let's see. What does it say here? Uh, DFD buffer. Oh, it could be the DFD buffer. It's hyper switching throughout it all. Throughout it all. I'm going to try to say, okay, number one, I, it's another thing. Like, oh my God. If your computer, like, I was running an 800 megahertz system back in like 2001 with that, you know, before they made it so you couldn't use a fucking DSP processor to process your audio, which is fucking stupid. It's like a whole, uh, whole workstation thing if you're not if you don't have a workstation quality card then you don't get to use a a like gpu or fucking you know a dsp to actually process your sound or your video um unless you know you're just doing bullshit like you know i can use a fucking gpu to process video games but if i want to actually render a picture i've got to use my fucking my actual processor unless i go spend three thousand dollars on a video card and even then, it's like, dude, I used to, I used to mod my old, I, whatever. I had a modded, uh, modded NVIDIA because, you know, it's basically just a jumper setting to make it so you could use your GPU to render things in 3D Studio Max. So it's like, yeah, okay, easy fix. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it sucks that it's, that it's like that, honestly. But it's like, yeah, this dude, I mean, like, you know, it, it, he goes to and it's like, you know, trying all this shit, and the contact player's working fine for me. I have a new computer, lots of RAM. Uh, for you, know, it's just one. And the thing is, okay, so this guy's not having the problem because he's just using contact instruments. This person had the problem because I guarantee he is trying to make his own instrument. And like me, he had a fucking issue. And, you know, unlike, for some reason, the YouTubers using Fruity Loops don't seem seem to think it's a random occurrence and like no this shit's not random okay what's fucked up about it is i'm pretty sure it's intentional you know it's like these fucking you know like th these germans that made native instruments like yeah fuck these americans you know we'll just we're, we're just gonna like put some random shit somewhere that's just gonna fuck everything up and then when they ask what the problem is we'll be like oh you know try it maybe it's a velocity maybe, maybe you should update your firmware you know maybe maybe try buying a new laptop and maybe it's a RAM. Like, no, maybe you should go down here and randomly on send effects, there is a fucking chorus. Like, what the fuck? Like, by default, are you fucking kidding me? Um, I, I just, dude, this shit, like, I, I run into this. I'm like, what? And just the the amount of bullshit answer. Oh, I see, you can't even say, I forgot to turn this shit off. So, you know, I'll turn this shit off here. But, you know, if you come down here, so yeah, here's what the problem is, is this fucking chorus right there. See that shit under send effects? That's just there by default. You know, like why? Why is that it, it made it makes no sense. But you know, if you go in here and you yeah. Turn it off. Wow. No more problem. Go figure. And I'm just like, why? You know, fuck, dude. <laughs> I I don't get. I don't get the fucking why nobody is has the answer to this you know i mean shit dude this this last one like i don't pull shit like really dude like what the fuck this shit's like oh dpc i heard you know what like what the fuck not none of this shit works you know he's looking at his processor going you know uh like like what the fuck you know i just like, it, it's just funny to me, like, how much BS, like, people post that just has nothing to do with anything. It's like, dude, it's, it, it's, it was an easy fix, dude. And, like, you'd think that somebody would have, like, figured this out within the last 15 years. It's not like the problem's new. Like, shit, dude, come on, really? But, anyway... So yeah, if you're having issues with Contact 5 making weird crackles and pops and, you know, all this shit, it's very likely, or distortion, whatever, it's very likely because you're, uh, <clears throat> you have a chorus effect on. And once you get rid of that chorus effect, you know, you can do a lot of things with the software and it doesn't, it will not give you any problems at all um 
Oh, yeah, here's another thing. So, you know, if you, if you loaded up the Wave Editor and you selected it, you know, at the chorus on, the Wave Editor's not, is going to play the sample fine. That's when I started to figure out that something here is amiss. Because the Wave Editor, if I hit play on the sample, no issues, no artifacts. But if I try to play the sample through the sampler or through anything, through DFD, through Tone Machine, it, it just, it all sounded like crap. And, um, yeah, so, anyway. <laughs> there you go. That's how you fix the pops and crackles in contact. Like, the actual official way to do it. The way nobody seems to want to share. And I, I, I know that, I know they know what the problem is. I know it's not, you know, I know it's not this big. It's just like, dude, like, why, why bother, like, just beating around the bush with this shit i mean come on dude like it, it, i don't know it's bullshit but you know th that's a very common thing one thing I, I i realized you know when i was doing a lot of the uh you know doing iphone shit you know like literally people make tutorials on how to use these like you know rooting tools or whatever root your iphone or whatever root you know <laughs> jailbreak your iphone root your fucking android but it's like dude the explanations make no sense they're like literally if you want to root your android i i recommend using abd like what it's like in okay for those tools to work they probably worked through the people that made them because they were very specific to certain memory addresses that they could look at. And, and and actually that's exactly a lot of it has to do with the bin format, which is, you know, if we're talking about Androids, your bin file is nothing more than a than a than a fucking tree. It's nothing more than a than a directory tree. And I, I don't know why they call it a bin file, but you know. So basically if if for whatever reason your bin files are failing, it's because you have something is like there's a Sony directory on there and you're running Panasonic. I know that's not, not how it is, but you know, that's basically how it is. <laughs> Except for the fact that I don't think Sony or Panasonic makes cell phones, but if they did and they made Androids, that would be the problem. Um, anyway, uh, I do plan on doing a tutorial using contact and Ableton and basically setting up a system to allow you to um, basically allow you to play 128s with virtually, you know, virtually no issues, you, you know, no lag. Um, anyway, uh, you could probably set your shit for like, you know, pull mode and turn your latency down to pretty much nothing, and you're not going to have any issues. Um, and, you know, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that and set that up. Uh, it's going to take about 45 minutes. Hopefully, this was useful to you. And, um, have a beautiful evening. Shadow Gage out.